Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Michael's Diamond World. And today, I am going to be working on the beach house once again. You can see it right over there. It looks really nice. Last episode, I started building the basement area, and I also created a secret staircase. Today, I'm going to be working on the basement, and I also want to get some trees for the island, because uh, it's pretty plain at the moment. So, I'm going to head over to the doghouse. What is this? Why are there holes in my floor? Um, oh, great. Okay, I guess there you've moved on to fixing these lights here. But what is this mess? Why are there holes all over my floor? I have no idea. Um, uh, are these lights still flashing? Yeah, they're, they're still flashing. I don't know what they're doing, but apparently the lights are still flashing for some reason. Over here, there's apparently a bunch more holes. Uh, what are these guys doing? Are they, like, fixing my floor? Or doing something? I don't know. What's going on in the kitchen? Oh, they fixed these lights. Or at least half of this one. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully by the end of this, all these lights will be fixed. I should probably check uh, what's going on over here. Because uh, they were working on these lights. These, those lights are working. Those ones aren't working in there. Oh, what? There's someone in here too. They're fixing this light. It's still not centered. They need to, like, move it over, like, one extra block here. And then that light will hopefully be centered there. Anything going on down here? Uh, not really. This needs to get fixed at some point. Anything in this room? Oh, we got a lot of guys in here. Look at this. Okay, they're fixing those lights, apparently. So, I guess they're, uh, they're doing their job. They're doing good. Let's go and head over to the doghouse real quick. And what is, what are you doing? What is this? Um, I don't know what this guy's doing. I, I have no idea what that guy's doing. He's kind of just doing something over there. Cool. Uh, let's head over to the dog house real quick and uh, pick a dog for today. Apparently the frogs are jumping around here. I still don't know where Jelly went. Because here's Trevor. But I don't know, I haven't seen Jelly in a while. I don't know where Jelly went. Now, before I go over to the island, I do need to go pick up some sand because I need to make a bunch of sandstone. So I'm going to head over there, grab up some sand real quick, and then go do some building. So let's go over here. What is this? There's so many crazy things happening. Doge, what is this chest? It's your survival kit. What do you mean a survival kit? What is all this? What? Each of the dogs have swords, a battle horn, wolf armor. Wait, where did you get this stuff? Oh. Okay. Cool. I don't know where Doge gets all these crazy gadgets at, but uh, I need to pick a dog for today. So let's go ahead and press the button. And today's dog is going to be Mr. Sparky, who has apparently gone missing. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but let's try this again. Wolfie, also gone. Hey, uh, you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do one more. Let's see, Sparky. I gotta go all the way back to the house for Sparky. So, you know what? You guys stay here. Doge apparently has you guys equipped with some kind of gear. I don't know where he got all this stuff. I don't know what Doge is doing with all these gadgets, but I can at least go back to the house. You can even see the lights flashing from out here, like the whole room is lighting up. I have no idea what is happening with the electrical uh, system in my house. Like everything's messed up. Like this room is like completely dark now. The only thing lighting it up is these end rods here. So I'm gonna go ahead and head to bed here and then in the morning, I need to head over, get some uh, sand so I can make, I'm gonna use smooth sandstone. I think it's going to be better than using the regular sandstone. I might as well just use this hole to uh, get out of the house faster. And then I could just run over here, collect up some sand. And then I'm going to head over to the island and work on doing some building over there. Okay, so I've grabbed up my sand. I've got a stone cutter here. I don't know if you can put sand in here. Yeah, sand doesn't work. But if you put, uh, I think, just sandstone... Yeah, so you can do that, 
and then you can change this into different types. Now, uh, how do you make the smooth uh, stone? Because I think there's smooth sandstone that you can get. Do you need the slabs for that? Maybe you can't get it. It might be like a creative only item. Because that makes chiseled sandstone. I'm pretty sure there's one where it's like solid sandstone. I'm not sure how to get that block. But uh, I'm going to use the cut sandstone. I think it's going to be the next best thing. It's fairly smooth. So I'm going to use this. And that's going to be the block that I'm going to use underwater. Now I'm going to have Sparky sit here. Just to make sure he doesn't end up drowning somehow. Because that would not be good. Oh, I forgot to bring the glass. So you know what? Let me smelt down all the sand that I've got left over. I do need some coal though. Right now I'm using logs, which is not the best fuel source. So I'm going to use jungle planks to fuel this. I put the whole stack in there since I've got loads of jungle wood. It's really easy to get. So I'm going to go and use that as a fuel source. And I'm going to head down here and work on clearing out this whole area and then covering this in smooth sandstone which I do want to go in here and build the entire ceiling out of the uh the sandstone here okay so I'm working on clearing this area out I've got a pretty good amount of it done I'm going to start putting in the ceiling which is going to be made out of the cut sandstone because uh, this is kind of the closest I can get to the smooth sandstone but if I fill all that in, the water level will go down. And I need to get the ceiling put in now. So that way I don't have to worry about all the sand falling down. So all of the sandstone is going to have to get broken. Some of it, there's going to be sand that falls down. Some of it is going to be fine, which most of this is good. It's this area over here that's the main problem because the sand is uh, really shallow here. So I gotta put these blocks in as fast as possible and then fill in all the sand up top. So I'm working on this side first because I know that area over there is going to be a lot easier to deal with once I get uh, this done over here. So now that I've got a good amount of this uh, dug out, I need to get one last layer here done and then I can work on doing the actual wall where I'm going to put the glass in. Okay, so I've cleared out a good amount of the sand over here. I haven't actually done the uh, glass wall yet because I need the uh, glass to do that. So I'm going to go up top, see how it looks because I haven't looked at it yet. I think it is going to be nighttime soon. I did want to put in these windows. That was one of the things I wanted to do today. And I did actually repair my axe off camera. So I've got a fully repaired axe here, which is good. I'm going to put a window here. I want to put a window here. I'm going to put a window over here in the bedroom. And then that should be it for the windows. I might put one. Well, actually, I'm going to have a TV there. So that's not really a good spot to put a window. And that's the bathroom. So we don't want any windows in there. But this is what it looks like now that I've like gotten rid of all of the supports for the sand. It's all kind of collapsed. Uh, but hopefully I can get it back to normal once I uh, get the sand put back. Okay, so I've put in a bunch of sand here. I think that's a, a pretty good start. I'll uh, add in more later on uh, once I figure out how this is going to look. But I've got a, a baby drowner holding a shell. I don't think I've ever seen that. And he actually dropped it as well. So that's pretty cool. I can add that to the collection. Why can I put that in my other hand? That is interesting. There's not a lot of items that you can actually put in your other hand in Bedrock Edition. For some reason, the shell is one of those. That's odd. Uh, so that's a, a cool thing to know. You can apparently put shells in your other hand. So let me go ahead and get this area cleared out here. I'm going to do it from inside so that way it's a little bit easier. Alright, so this is going to be the end of the window right over here. Now, do I have enough glass to fill this in? That's the other thing. I've got 39 pieces. 
I already put all of the sandstone down, so I don't have to worry about that. I do want to finish it up outside here so I can get the sand put back. So I'm going to go outside, put the last of the glass in, and oh, I also have to fix this. So let me get uh, my cut sandstone here. I might as well turn this into some more. Alright, so I've got all the glass done. So now that that bit's done, I can work on uh, digging out the basement inside. Uh, so I'm going to head back indoors here. I don't think I need any more glass, so I can stop this. I've got a bunch of sand left over that I can turn into sandstone. I wonder, can you cook this? This might be how you get the smooth sandstone, is by cooking regular sandstone. Let's see, because it does do something. There we go, that's how you get the smooth sandstone. Can you do it with this too? Oh, you can. So you can cook pretty much any sandstone, turn it into smooth sandstone. So you know what, I'm going to go ahead and turn this into smooth sandstone. Okay, so I fixed this to now it's smooth sandstone. That looks uh, a little bit better. It, it blends in better with the sand. So now that I've got that done, let's go inside and work on the rest of the stuff. And I might as well have Sparky stand up because I should be done with the water. I, I hope there's no more water I have to deal with. So let's go down here and work on building the ceiling. Now the ceiling, I know for sure I want that to be... Uh, some sort of sandstone. I don't want the regular sandstone because it's got the weird, like, rocky texture to it. Uh, it's kind of like the cobblestone, but the sand version of it. So I want to have smooth uh, ceiling, but I don't really know what I want to do for the floor just yet. Of course, I got to collapse this whole bit just so I can fill that in there. So let me get the rest of... My cut sandstone, because this is a little bit easier to get than the uh, smooth sandstone. So I'll go ahead and do that. As soon as the water goes away, it'll be a lot easier to work in here. This is the uh, the hardest bit of the uh, entire area here, which is why I want to do this first. So I'm going to go through here, clear out everywhere from over there to uh, back that way. And that way... I should be able uh, to have a nice little basement down here. It's not going to be huge. And I could even extend it further that way. Might be a good idea. But I think about three blocks in here, like right about here, should be the spot where I don't have to deal with sand. Never mind. There's still sand I got to deal with. But at least there's no more water it looks like. Oh, never mind. There's still water here. Okay, so I've managed to clear out the entire basement, and as you can see here, there's a huge hole at the surface that I now have to fill in with sand. Uh, but before I do that, I wanted to come up here and grab my uh, smooth sandstone, which there's not a lot of it. There's only 18 pieces, but this should be enough uh, for what I need. Now, the reason why I want the smooth sandstone is for this area right here, and to go through and cover this. Now, I don't think I'm going to have enough to do it all right now, uh, but I can get a good amount of it done. I also need to get, I don't know if I have any, but I need to get some sandstone stairs that I can put down right here. Uh, so I can cover that up unless I put a block. I probably could just put blocks here This might be a good spot to use uh, The cut sandstone like that because it doesn't have to be a smooth block and then I'll do smooth sandstone there and then I should be able to put like me one more block in there so these two blocks right here are gonna get turned into smooth sandstone and then this area right here, I think I can put a block in. Yeah, I can do a block there. So that's all going to get turned in the smooth sandstone. This area here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I think I'm just going to fill this in with some sand. So I'm going to go and grab all of the sand that I've collected up and start filling in these areas. And then this stuff here, 
will become sandstone or smooth sandstone once I smelt it down. Uh, now, I do actually have some coal. I got this from digging out the basement. So, I can use this over here as a fuel source to smelt down the rest of my sandstone. So, I'm going to put all that in there and see what happens. Looks like a turtle showed up. I'm going to go through and fill that in here in a second. But I first want to get this all cleared out here so that it's ready for the sandstone. Okay, so I've got the rest of the smooth sandstone here. So I can use this to fill in these areas. And this block right here, I'm going to turn these from uh, slabs into actual oak planks. Oh, I might not be able to do that. I can use other slabs uh, to do it, though. So now this looks a little bit better, and it hides the, uh, the blocks. Now, apparently there's a wandering trader here. I've also run out of sand, so I'm going to have to figure out uh, where I'm going to get some more sand to do the rest of this. Uh, but I need a little bit more smooth sandstone, and then I can finish that off there. There might actually be some sand just lying around down here. Doesn't look like it. So this floor will be really easy to kind of just break this out and then replace it with a block. I'm not sure which block I'm going to use just yet. I like using one of the stone blocks. If I get like some polished dorite or something to put down there is usually what I like using for floors. Uh, but I do need to get some more smooth stone so that I can fill in all the walls. This is about to burn out. So, I'm going to go over to the storage room real quick. I need to put my boots on so I can actually run across here. I'm going to head back over to the storage room, pick up some more stone. And then I also need to get any sand that I have left over. Because I need a little bit more sand uh, so I can finish the island. There's some sandstone in here. It's not really what I want. But I'll see what I can find at the storage room. Okay, so I'm back with some supplies here. I got a lava bucket that I can use for fuel. And I found a really cool block that I want to use for the floor. I'm going to use stone bricks. I think it's going to be a cool floor. Uh, the other cool thing I can do is if I use the stone bricks is I can make mossy uh, stone bricks as well. So that could be pretty cool for the basement. Uh, but I do need to head down here and finish up. Uh, this sandstone wall that I was building here. So let's see if this is enough uh, smooth sandstone. I can finish that bit there. This bit over here is where it's going to switch over to the regular stone. And I just need to go through here. Break away any blocks that aren't a uh, stone. The good thing about using the stone for this is that most of the wall is already done for me. There's just like a few bits over here that need to get uh, changed. The only thing about digging over here is that there might be times where the sand falls like that. So there goes some more sand that I got to go fix once I get up top. But I can easily... Fix that just by filling this in with stone there. And there's even some iron that I can pick up here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab up this iron ore. Because it's always good to get some iron. And then I will go through and fill in the floor once I get enough stone bricks. Because right now I don't have enough to fill in this floor. Now before I end it, I do want to get some trees here. And one of the trees I thought would be really good is the acacia trees. Now there's a few of them over here. So if I come over here, chop one of these down, I should be able to get a sapling that I can plant. Because depending on the kind that I get, the only thing with the, uh, the trees is they grow up differently every time. If I can get a, a good one of these, I think this would be a really cool tropical tree. There's even a ravine right here, which is pretty cool. I'm going to chop this one down because it's pretty small and I should be able to get a sapling from here. So now that all the wood's gone, I'm going to go through and break all the leaves until it drops a sapling. Oh wait, there's one. Alright, so now that I've got my sapling here, I'm going to go ahead and plant this down somewhere on the island. 
I'm thinking right over here is going to be a good spot for it. So it's going to go there. And I do need to fill in the rest of the sand over here. Because there was uh, a few bits that I broke. So I'm going to go and put sand back there. And over here you can clearly see uh, where the sand was destroyed at. But next episode, I'm going to work on putting the stone bricks down here. I'll go and show you the basement one more time. This is what it looks like. It looks really nice. Let's see if I can get Sparky to come down here. Here he is. You like it, Sparky? I think it looks really nice. So that's going to be pretty much it for today. So I'm going to go and end the episode here. So make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.